and Isopajoni. Dudes, that action play. <laughs> How close you were to death, that Mafia Ninja. He's holding his breath. They're running past him. On the side, knocks Godless down on his knees. And now Ziola is taking the fight. But it has got it in the back. And it's going to be aped. And the third. And this is what we like to see. DRS, on the other hand, instilling a lot of pressure on the last stalwart esports. They're caught, of course. And look at them. He just reversed the bug strike. But no, he gets taken down as well. One last man alive from them. them all pinched in it looks like their little fortification might just become their grave because they are going to have to come out as they did call it Tofik goes Do down courtesy of Pika's M4 and now it's just a waiting game <laughs> listen, listen that's what it is li that's what listen, it is listen apes apes they're living up to the name they're jumping around like a bunch of apes they're hoping to find something but they're trapped in the corner the moment they move on out they're going to be taken on down an action he is being the gatekeeper he is heimdall right now they it's, cannot cross it's... they're gonna go on through he's jumping up and oh! down he's gonna get one he's gonna get, get two. two one member remains and it's all on canic and astro academy one knock away one kill away from getting the first chicken dinner and they have come they have slain and they have delivered. There's nothing Hustler can do. And that Astro Academy, that, that was the most it. ludicrous, the most ludicrous end to a game I've seen so far. Lads, that was an exciting game. Let's move into the analysis itself with, of course, the duo. It is going to be Ocean Sharma and Aisa Pajani. Dudes, that action play was just incredible to get the name <laughs> We loved it. We yeah. loved it more than anything. Wow. So we already had in the mind teams that are trying to get inside circle in those final Whoa. moments. But ST have ever find themselves in a kerfuffle against the players of Starwood. Exactly. Kaye down to such low HP. Barely makes it down back in the cover in the nick of time. On the other hand, Stalwart Esports as well, aggressing the lads of ST again. Seems like they're not going to be stopping their aggression anytime soon. In this final game, we're seeing quite a lot of teams being aggressive. And this is what we like to see. DRS on the other hand, instilling a lot of pressure on the lads of Stalwart Esports. They're caught of course. And look at them. He just reversed the buggy right in front of them. It's like, okay, there's no way in front. There's no way I'm going to make it. I have to go downhill. Make a target, for Christ's sake. I mean, multiple uh, switching, I think that sort of resulted yeah. in DRS not even finding a single knock. Had they stuck onto one of those players, but you know what? I would love to take a look at the map feed, considering how the circle has oh, position and baby. Team Zeus, lo and behold, right at the center. Bande! Aunt Ned, Johnny! Hey, catch me! Look, look, look! Hey, there, 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 there! Bandi, 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 bandi! Bandi, bandi, bandi! Bandi, bandi, bandi! On the other hand, PL Legend taking down action from Astro Academy. That's a massive frag, the top kill leader. Yeah, now that's definitely something that Astro Academy would not really be happy about. But the Nade Galore is on as Blade will lob one more, but is it gonna oh. make the distance? That's the big question. But either way, Crypto has managed to find on top in the process, and this is where Starward need to go in with a push. Starward props to them the way they're playing the situation out. Even though they have a massive disadvantage of that downhill situation, they're still doing a good job keeping their eyes in on their knees. And for that, Deadeyes is not even stepping their boundaries, you know? They are kept in their limits. And I have to give props to that for Star Lord Esports. Johnny and Crypto, this duo should stay alive till the end. If they do, they can make a lot of things happen. And here we have them just aggressing against the last of Deadeyes. Fearless aggression from these two men. But finally, Johnny goes down. But, his, but the enemy team's position has been revealed as well. Shifu's position is not uncompromised anymore. His position has been compromised. Crypto finds the right moment to strike. But no, he gets taken down as well. One last man alive from them. Blade closes the entire squad of Deadeyes out. And that's going to be Stalwart Esports. Um, I have a look and no one's really close by. Deadeyes guys, as usual, are going to be dropping down at heart in. And just as I say that, a few more bullets are going to be rattled off. And looks like the stalemate is over. And it's time to commence action as Heaven has been brought down to his knees. I see. Like you pointed out, XP, he went on a, a soul excursion trying to find a good angle from above and he finds the knock that is one man down now 
Godless, he's got no health kits. None of these players have much when it comes to heals uh -oh. to work with. Charlie's None of trouble. them. Charlie's out in the open. Abel's going to spot him out. And despite Charlie getting the knock here, the quick trade is indeed going to take place. Abley finishing off Charlie. And one by one, they start to fall. Leon pushing on in, trying to get the finish. But he in turn will be found as well. And Joker, he was a hero a few minutes back. But this might be a little too much to ask of the man. He is going to be in a 1v4. He does have health to work with, so that's one thing going his way. But I see full HP. They're going to push in together. They're going to finish off the job. Now one man left standing in the corner. It is going to be Joker. He's going to rattle off a few bullets. He's going to get a knock. Godless around the corner. And it's going to be Joker. I love how Godless just ran in like a bait, like a decoy. This time as Chad will find that knock. And it all comes down to blah, blah, blah. So eventually gets taken down. And Team INB get their first chicken dinner home. And and, you know, they've been waiting for it. They it's deserve dancing. to dance like this. I mean, I like it. I like it. The moves yeah, they're making. Great time. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. They're almost, uh, you know, <laughs> done with the tournament. And Mike uh. just want to end it on a lighter note. His side, this might be pretty close. Did do kind of decent damage. I feel like Hustler is going to be doing that drop shot strategy, strategy, man. And this is going to be a stylish way to end the game. If he actually manages to do that, he was trying to. But then his teammate has got it in the back. And it's going to be apes. And the third position is pretty much taken by the apes. Finally, finally, after 23 games, they get it. They get it. And right now, oh. bring themselves back right into the competition. Mongolian. Yes. All the teams accumulated in the center. I mean, this is kind of an interesting circle, let's be honest. I feel yeah. like this might pan out in, you know, in the rice fields of the Yasnaya. Can be, and, and that would be really interesting, uh, to be honest, because, you know, we've seen a lot of uh, topography changes over there as Joel, well, he's uh, just alone over there, and <laughs> Otzi, well, I mean, the good thing about Team Zeus is all the teammates are alert, they know that they have that one angle that they can play around from, and there comes that push coming in from Assassin, but he needs to be really careful because he oh. might just get punished, and yes, he does. Joel, he'll take his own sweet time to heal himself up. I really do hope if that he has some first Yes, he does. Overstepping his boundaries just a little bit there and getting punished for it as well. Assassin is now getting rest up on his feet. Zal doesn't have any other choice than to just sit here and see this all going down right in front of his eyes. His teammates are there in the back lines to provide him cover. But he is stuck in this initial position, in this initial spot. But here we have another team pushing in and against them. And things are getting so heated up in this one compound. SD Gaming wants this as well. Zeus wants this as well. Which team is going to get it? I mean, that's a big question. Now, this is some really ballsy plays coming in from the boys from ST to really go and uh, take a piece of the cake over there. But Zeus, they're all around now. Now, we've got that one small little compound and three teams contesting for it. Imagine the scenario as high voltage take an exit on the 16th position. That Jimmy uh, is a man of patience. He's a man of perseverance, just waiting patiently. And look at Mafia Ninja as well. Raiden is right next to him. And Mafia Ninja living up to his name, XP. Usually, ninjas are uh, they're usually out I mean, during the night. Right? But he's being very he's got quiet. That shade. A bike passes by. Blah, blah, blah. Son, y y you have no idea how oh. close you were oh. to death that Mafia Ninja is holding his breath. They're running past him. How have they not seen him? Jane's going to get in a vehicle and Mafia Ninja still hasn't moved. Now he's going to move on along. Now he knows three members have passed by. His spots rated and rated. Good night, sweet friends. Ow. Mafia Ninja strikes. He's going to finish him off. Patience of a god and T2K. Unfortunately, <laughs> they get ambushed by DRS. Brilliantly played by Mafia Ninjas. X-Ray, I don't know how he's operating his phone you know, without being sweaty because that was just butt clench you don't really want to be caught of guard especially when your opponents have that mk14 especially if your opponent's action i mean look at that he's done that before right he's done that in the past you know just uh, lobbing those grenades through those sky holes <laughs> and uh, getting it connected but that being said godless has been uh, taken down it's uh, a fight going up against starward and zeus they're being hammered but right now top from the boot camp, he's trying to take a few shots here and there. Frankie, having that high ground advantage, gets a lot of vision though. Inside the circle, waiting for the right opportunistic moment to strike. Zeus, look at them. The position is so bad out in the open. No cover for themselves. Even their backs, backs are exposed to TDK. And here we have, yep, shots being taken. Abley 
connecting a little bit of shots on the blade. They're getting caught off guard. Almost could have been taken down. A little bit more exposure of his body, and that would have happened. Here we have a beautiful spot out coming out from the lad of Johnny. He has got some eagle eyes there, but now seems like Salwar Esport are not going to be stopping anytime soon. Zeus, Zeus are getting shattered one after the other. They're getting absolutely decimated just like they were doing in the first game. You know, this is one good thing I like about Zeus and simultaneously, simultaneously it's one of the bad things as well. You know, always going in for those revives. Now, oh. This was not a situation where Abley could have really gotten that revive and gotten out alive. Uh, considering how Star Solo. would have completely pinched them down. And yes, now Star Wars wiping out Zeus. Now this changes things completely. Yeah. This is where DRS. From the previous point of view, and now from afar, they did get shot on, and there you have it, Smokey and Hero Love are going to be moving in. That means now Zeus are going to have to fight the fight at two fronts, as oh. they have an idea where the enemy is. That grenade isn't going to do anything because they do have cover, but Smokey is going to do a lot. He's come from the side, knocks Godless down on his knees, and now Zeol is taking the fight for two oh. members. He gets one! He gets one! He gets the oh. second! And he gets the third! Are you kidding me? Or, I mean, that's it! I am out of here. That reaction time was amazing, Blade. That distance by DRS Gaming, as I pointed out earlier, they're going to use a smoke and be a legend. He is somehow avoiding the members of Astro Academy out in the bush. He's not in the smoke. They think he's in the smoke. Actually, might spot him out. They might even run him over. But somehow, be a legend. What a god! What an absolute what? beast! He hasn't been spotted. He's not breathing. He's not blinking. Oh. He is just lying still My as a rock. And goodness. legend is an absolute god amongst the chaos, amongst the bullets flying overhead, he will not flinch. Forget trigger discipline, forget anything, he's not even moving the muscle, and if he can capitalize on this right now, he does see them come in, he knows a couple of members from Master Academy are going to be down on their knees, one good grenade, one good spray, could be devastating for Pika P and his teammates, but oh my goodness, oh this is what legends God. are made of, ladies and gentlemen, this moment is going to live down in history for quite some time, as Astro Holy. Academy still don't have any idea that the opposition is around him, now the question is, is he going to use their smoke so he's going to be run over oh, oh my no. goodness he almost got run over and now finally oh, no. finally <laughs> we got high voltage we have nightmare in the distance as well not to forget astro academy stalwart going for a bit of uh, of an interesting uh, rotation if you can take a look at the at the map here ladies and gentlemen very quickly you can see them skirting there we go they're skirting around all the way to head towards the coast that look the only way this could go wrong is if 1952 unleashes on them. But apart uh, from that, I think that's a genius call coming in from Stalwart. I don't think that's really going to happen because if you have a look between 1952 and Blade at this moment, we have a little bit of a hill, so that is going to mm -hmm. provide cover. But what Stalwart did good was the fact that they chose that piece of land over there because... Like, 